Happiness is when you can go anywhere with anyone and feel at peace. That's happiness. When you can go anywhere with anyone and be fucking happy with yourself. Hello, my death-defying lunatic loving I can't call y'all at a hall of uh, Adamaniacs, I guess. We can't do, we can't do the Etaholic no more. We don't live there anymore. We moved out. We done checked into the Smackdown Hotel, the Recovery Rockstar Inn. I am the artist formerly known as the Lovable Lunatic, Eddie Easy, Eddie Bainey back with y'all. Oh, this life, man, it's beautiful. But before we get into that, we got to start from the beginning, man. They say spiritual awakening, that happens when you are ready to completely turn your life and your will over to God. Well, man, I had one for the ages. Let's start from the top. I'm uh, Sunday morning, July 21st. Um, the, this would have been about, well, my fourth day consecutive up, and I had spent about... 12 of the last 14 days awake on my latest crystal meth binge and uh what the meth was cut with what is what else was in it that's not really important i'm not here to war story i'm not here to waste any time talking about how great it was because it wasn't fucking great it was a train wreck it was a nightmare who the fuck done messaged me somebody Hold on a second. I can get that when I get back. I want to keep this going. All right. So, anyway. Um, oh, my God. Uh, had myself a spiritual awakening. Um, uh, Oh, oh, I know you. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, yo, this done froze my phone. That shit done froze my phone, my bad. So let's get right into this. All right, so Sunday morning. I'm, I'm still at window, mind you. Um, I come out for a cigarette. And something to me just doesn't feel right. The earth starts shaking. My mind is literally a pretzel. I'm fucked up beyond belief. My boss comes around. Ed, what are you doing up at this hour? I'm just thinking, oh, here it is. Here it is. Yep, here's the plot. Oh, God. Uh, to make a long story short, man, um, what could have been a 10-minute, all right, guys, I'm fucked up. I need help turned into me assuming that that people that loved me that were there for me were aliens trying to abduct me to some made up fucking planet in my head uh my head is a fucking planet oh jesus but so i took a ride to the hospital lgh um best ride of my life i woke up in the hospital i after freaking out some more in the hospital and in my sleep, like, in my delusion this, I drifted off into a sleep. I seen Alyssa laying on a hospital bed. Yes, Alyssa, my ex fiance Well, I shouldn't say ex, because she died. Um, seen her there laying, she sits up. She goes, what the fuck is wrong with you? You are going to end up like me. Wake up now. And I did. I woke up. Woke up, nurse. Hey, bud, how are you? Um, do you have any idea what your next move is? Like, what you're gonna do? I look at her, I'm like, lady, I am just coming off of a fucking binge, meth and crack, that's a hell of a mix, right? Like, literally, that is a hell of a mix. I'm shot the fuck out beyond belief. <laughs> I barely know who the fuck I am right now. Can, can you please give me five minutes to compose myself, sweetheart? Yeah, take your time, Mr. Bainey, we'll be right back. She's going to walk out, and I just scream, wait, nurse, miss. She goes, yeah, yeah, what's wrong? I was like, I almost died, didn't I? She goes, uh, you're lucky you you did 
methamphetamine because if it would have been cocaine strictly, yeah, you'd be dead right now, Mr. Bean. I looked at her, I was like, say no more. I, I need help. I can't go on like this. I'm spending all my money. Um, uh, what's the word? I'm, I'm having derealizations in my head. I'm detached from reality. I, have, I can't separate fantasy from reality. I need help. Uh, what can you do for me? Let me make one phone call, sir. I'll be right back. Next thing I know, I'm riding off to White Deer Run. Um, get to White Deer Run. I really don't remember much. Apparently, I was a moody, miserable prick, which doesn't surprise me. Um, so I go into a sleep coma. I wake up Tuesday morning. Everything's going good. And then Tuesday around 5 o'clock happens. I start sliding in my chair. We're down in group. I start sliding in my chair. And my mouth opens twice as wide as it normally does. I go to stand up. My body is bending in ways that would put contortionists to shame. Like, a <laughs> So I'm just thinking, okay, maybe I slept weird. They took me to the hospital. Gave me a banner drill, sent me back. I started doing it again. Uh, two, two guys, two gentlemen. Um, one who I'm still good friends with. One who... I need to text here as soon as I get back to to my recovery house. Um, they helped me. But the thing about it is I would not stay down. I kept getting up to get water, get water, get water. I woke up the next morning. I woke up around 1 a.m. I heard this voice say to me, Son, this happened for a purpose. Take my hand. I got you. It was in this moment where I realized God was talking to me and I had a spiritual awakening. Me, bending like that in ways that aren't the human anatomy can't bend. My mouth opening widths that aren't humanly possible like that. That was my calling to God. It was. You can call it what you want. I know what I call it. You had to be there to see it. But it was then I woke up and I've been praying at least three times a day every day I've been spreading the word and yeah I still fucking swear of course I'm always gonna have my character I mean cares character defects I'm working on but uh, let me tell you since I had gone on to be one of the better peers in my treatment facility I am now in a recovery house I'm now working a job I never even dreamed of traveling the state and even in parts of New Jersey making solid money Long hours, heavy stuff, but, you know, it's beautiful, man. Um, I'm meeting people that I never imagined I would meet. I'm making connections. I'm actually talking to people, whether they're male or female, because I'm at the point right now where, yeah, um, you need to fill that addiction. I heard this amazing speaker in the rooms tonight. I, this this speaker, oh, yeah, you'll see Sally with the rotisserie. With that rotisserie ass. Yeah, you'll want that. You'll have that pink thing hanging out. I need to replace an addiction with another addiction. So let that be my dick and let that be my dick and you. Come on, let's go. I can't do that right now. What I can do is if you're somebody I feel like I have a connection with, I will vibe with you. I will do, but here's the thing. With me, it's a process because I don't I'm still finding out who the fuck I am. I love who I am today. I love every single part of me. I, I know that I'm a lot to handle. I can admit that. But with God, I know I can get my life in order. I know I can't just, okay, I'm healed. Let's bring somebody else in. Because I don't know where the fuck they're at. They may be unavailable physically, mentally, emotionally. Holy shit, they may have, they may be 17 flus over the cuckoo's nest. And I'm not, I'm not trying to... Land in that tree with them. No, no, no. They can go right back in that tree. I swim with the fishes. And there's plenty of fish in that sea. And in time, that perfect fish, she'll reveal herself. And it'll be a slow, slow swim down the stream to her soul. But right now, my soul is full. God is on my side. I am at peace. I am feeling love, positivity, uh, humbleness, uh, dedication, you, you name it. I'm just blessed to be alive today. Um, I'm blessed for the few 
soldiers in my life that'll tell me, Ed, you know, you got to do this. You, you're fucking up for the few good friends that are here by my side telling me what I need to do this time. Like, not telling me what I need to do, but just giving me point. Yo, you did this the last time. You can't do that again, Ed. You fucking got to get real. Be real with yourself. Stop hiding. Stop denying what really is burning inside of you. Fire the fuck up. Tell on yourself. Talk about that shit. All right? So I say this to anyone. If what I went through ain't enough to scare the shit out of you, they put fentanyl and everything at you nowadays. It's even in your fucking weed. Yes, it's in your fucking marijuana. You willing to take that next bottle to the head? Go ahead. You may be going on a head-on collision with death itself. You want to take that? You want to shoot that next um, uh, speedball into your veins? Yeah, go ahead. You may be speeding right to hell. There's no future in this, man. You think it's fun. You think you're cool. Who the fuck are you shitting? What do I got to show for it? I, 20 years. 20 years of my life I pissed in the drain. This shit started for me at 11 when I smoked my first joint. It goes back deeper than that. I drank my first beer at eight, but like going on 20 years, guys. Does that sound fun to you? Throwing what what could have been a brilliant career in the future for the for what for the population for people who don't give a fuck about me to laugh and get their fucking jollies. Yeah. Get your jollies. I got two of them right here. You can suck on those. But I say that with a smile on my face because I got love in my heart today. So I will pray for each and every one who ain't feeling what the fuck I'm saying. Because I know some are sicker than others. And you may be where I was a month ago. And I love you. I do. I do. Um, I'm very, I'm beyond blessed today. Um... Out of all the people in the world, God gave me a second chance, you know. I have another chance to do this right. To slowly work this program. To start a future for myself. Build up some money. Get myself things I never had. Like a house. Maybe my license back. A car. Um, maybe a career. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. But I know it just... I know it starts with just for today. I can't get to tomorrow if I ain't living today. It's called the present because it is a gift from God, ladies and gentlemen. I will tell you, I still stand for the same mess. I ain't doing this for some corporate company. You get a hold, oh, he's got a good message. Let, let's perpetrate everything he's saying. Let's fabricate it. Let's make him our little puppet. Nah, I ain't in this for your money. I ain't in this for your material shit. I don't care if I'm wearing Mitchell and that's on my back. Or fucking, or fucking trash bag. I am who the fuck I say I am. And I ain't changing that for nobody. But what I will change is the way I think, the way I move, and the way I live. Again, my name is Easy Eddie. Eddie Easy, I am a recovering, grateful, grateful, grateful recovering addict, child of God, and former lunatic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to spread awareness, share to get others involved, and subscribe to stay notified. Until next time, my death defying lunatics. I'm Ed, and I'll see you soon.